for my test uh, for the swap path analysis, I uh, needed some uh, easy to configurable uh, curves. And so my question was how I can use the sketcher to create Bezier curves. And I wrote two classes and I want to demonstrate how they work. Um, okay, let's start. The first is a uh, Bezier sketch, create a Bezier sketch. In this case, I get uh, something like this and this is a sketch and when I go into the sketch I see the structure it contains of um, seven control points the first is the start of the curve the second uh, I can use to uh, define the direction of the tangent and the force of the tangent and the same is at the end I have the end point and one control point to define the tangent. And then I have here an inner point. And uh, here are two uh, tangent uh, helpers too. So in the first uh, configuration, this is a symmetric arrangement of these three control points. And I always can delete uh, this constraint. So in this case, now I can move one of these control points and the other still resists on its place. Okay, this is the first thing. The second thing is uh, when I uh, connect such curves, um, I can create a second one and I also can create a simple Bezier sketch. The simple Bezier sketch, um, I hide the other one, uh, has only four control points, the start point, and the endpoint here this way. So this is a simple Bezier curve, and the endpoint is marked here with a circle, and I always can delete the circle uh, if I do not need them. But it's sometimes easier to see it here in the design period. So now. Uh, I want now to connect both curves. So I want that the Bezier sketch, this one, starts at this point and I have a tangent a constraint between both curves. So in this case, I say I have here a link of the sketch and I map it to this. And now both are connected. And now when I change my first curve, then the second will follow. When I change the tangent, I see the second will follow. And I can now go to the second curve. And here I see um, I can configure it this way. So with all the possibilities I have here and here the start point is now fixed. I cannot move it, but um, I can change the force on the tangent and I also cannot change the direction of the tangent. This way I have now uh, two busy curves connected and I also can say I want that the end of the Bezier sketch, this is B sketch, uh, is linked to the begin of the first sketch. In this case, I get a closed uh, curve. I only have to select here uh, again the simple B spline sketch. So, and now I have both curves connected in this ends. And when I change here something this way, then the second will follow. I can do the same here. And in this busy sketch now, uh, both ends are connected. So I only can change here uh, the force, but now I can only change here the inner control point and can configure my curve this way. It's still 
a little bit hard to find out what is the central point. So we have this. Uh, what we can see too now here is uh, the role of the knots of the Bezier curve of, of, of the B spline. Uh, when we look at the curvature, we see every time we have a knot here, the curvature change here is discontinuous in this place in this place and the last knot is here and we also see here there is a little corner in the curvature camp.